uh, good morning dear students today we will uh, move on to the next unit that is uh, isometric projections unit number 4 so here the question is like this draw the isometric view of the machine component <coughs> whose orthographic views are given below so let me take today first one first question this one so here as you know that this is a top view and this is a the front view okay so in this top view please concentrate here this is a square square of a dimension 60 mm and inside there is a one square like sketch which you can see it is having a dimension of 40 mm it is also square okay but when you look at the front view but when you look at the front view there you will come to know here this object is a pyramid so it means below that the square of 60 mm this square of 60 mm is this one this is a box which is having a size 60 mm square and height of this box is 20 mm okay so this sketch ee rectangle eno 60 mm du kaanta idiyo adu yavudu id box ee box na square 60 mm ide but height of a box is 20 mm okay after this over this box of 60 mm square there is a one pyramid pyramid is mounted so in the front view you can see this pyramid in the front view it is a pyramid which is having a base 40 square 40 mm square okay and height of this pyramid is 50 mm from this box okay so by understanding this concept let us move on to the next screen that is uh, in autocad see after drawing this you will come to know this is a figure so it's a isometric figure isometric view isometric projection i would call it as as you know that this is a box this is a box of a 60 mm square having a from here to here dimension is a 20 mm it is having a dimension of 20 mm and now over this box we have to draw one pyramid which is having a base of 40 mm each square pyramid okay and uh, over that there is a vertex it is a vertex point so this is having a height of uh, how much 50 mm so how it can be solved how it can be drawn in isometric as you know that i told you here tools if you take drafting settings is there in that drafting settings snap and grid you have to take in that rectangular snap is there and isometric snap is there you have to click on this rectangular not rectangular isometric snap okay afterwards the cursor will be like this so you can see the cursor shape of the cursor also okay so first what i will do according to this uh, figure let me increase the size so first i will draw from this corner this is a corner from which i have to proceed okay either you can move from right to left or left to right i will go with left to right okay so so from this corner from here to here it is length is 60 and from here to left is 60 from this point i have to proceed okay from this point to right side is 60 and from this point to starting point to this is 60 so i will take line command l enter i will click on this point so it is it's having a 60 mm right so before that what i will do i will take it as a 60 mm 60 mm okay so afterwards i will take i will take line command again l enter so here i want to draw a square but here it is not possible therefore what you can do press f5 so that what it shows displays in the displayed in the command prompt area i so plain top so so that it uh, changes its shape okay so now i will take 60 mm and again i will go to left that is 60 mm enter and from here to here it is again 60 mm enter escape two times afterwards it is better to go with drawing a center line center line of a uh, this uh, object okay so here i will draw the center line again i will take a line command l enter click on this so as you know that now i have drawn this base this base i have drawn 
I have drawn this base. So after from this base, this tip of the or apex of the this one uh, pyramid is a uh, 50 mm, right? So therefore, what I will do? I will take a line command. Straight line is not possible. Again, I have to take uh, F5, press F5. So that straight line is possible here. So 50 mm height I will take, right? So 50 mm height I have drawn from the center. 50 mm height I have drawn. So what I will do now? So I will take uh, this square again. I will move it on the top. You can take it copy, CO, <laughs> copy from, you have to copy from this point to this end point. Okay. So just wait for a while. You will come to know why I have drawn. Or otherwise, you can just uh, erase this. Or otherwise, it is not was not necessary here. You can take a length of from this point to this point is 50 mm because we want uh, the axis of the uh, pyramid. Okay. Afterwards, what I will do? I will draw a line box. I would like to draw. I would like to draw a box. So below it is a 20 height. Okay, and here also it is a 20, and here also it is 20 mm, right? So afterwards, you can take a line command again. You can press again F5 because we have to change the direction of the cursor. So this box. So press F5 again. So now base is ready. So the base is ready okay so afterwards before we go for that i have to draw this circle uh, this uh, square also this square is uh, how much it is 40 mm right so if you look at this inside the top view here from here to here this line is 20 from here to here 20 from this line to this line is 20 from center to this line is 20 again what i will do simply i will take offset command offset o enter 20 mm offset right so i will take offset of 20 so here i will offset from all corner all side in the no offset mode afterwards i will take a what i will do <coughs> i will take extend command extend i have to extend the lines enter so you just click on this line to be extended so afterwards i will take a trim command I will trim it, I will trim it, I will trim this, trim mark only. Afterwards, you can select these lines to be erased, erased. So now, take line command, L enter and ortho should be off. Now ortho is off. Join this, okay, join this, okay. So join this. So here one more line is there which I would like to erase. I would like to erase this. I will take a line command from here, from here to here it is. Pyramid. So take a trim option. Can trim these lines because it is not necessary for us. Here you can trim. Okay, these lines are not at all necessary here. Okay, here is all this so that this figure is produced. So, as you know, that if you look at this, this is object which you have to draw. Suppose if you want to move from uh, this point to right left side, then you can go with that. So, no problem at all, any method you can adopt. So firstly, I will draw that lamp, uh, that object. I will go from right to left. Please concentrate here. Sorry, one and the same. Why? Because uh, it doesn't make a difference. Okay. So this is a uh, chapter number, unit number four, isometric projection. Here, orthographic views will be given, and you have to draw the. You have to draw the isometric projection. So after at the end uh, you can take a quick dimension 
okay dimensioning also i will tell you enter you can make a dimensioning here also you can make a dimensioning you can take a dimensioning like this okay so this is not required and dimension so for dimensioning it may not be possible for you to uh, draw exactly therefore what i will do i will take a line command here okay take it ortho is on make it f5 of okay here also take like this and afterwards you take a line okay <coughs> then uh, go for dimension take a ladder line from here to here take a ladder line one minute take a ladder line take a ladder line okay similarly here also you can take a ladder line ladder line click on this take a ladder line escape it afterwards you take a text command text command here so what is the size square right so for square symbol is there for a square here it is uh, we have to go for a symbol we have to search here in the symbol we have to select the square we have to search here ah here is a square select it select it copy okay paste one minute take a test command i will go with the symbol others i will take here it is a uh, selected copy okay copy it afterwards here you can paste it and then you can take a square of uh, uh, 60 okay you select it and make it a times new roman and height is 5 mm so here edit I have to take a square here I don't know why it is not coming Select it, copy it, paste. Or otherwise, you can go with the import or edit it. Erase. Uh, one minute. One minute. Or otherwise, you can take it as. Uh, you can take it as. Just uh, sixty only. Okay, so we can. Reduce it by taking scale 0 0.5 and move here, move it wherever you want to keep. Okay, so this is ready. So, like this, uh, we can do a dimensioning, so it is should be erased. So, I hope you have understood how you can draw this sketch. Thank you for watching.